In November last year the former Prime Minister pictured that this year's remembrance service was paid £120,000 around £2,000 a minute to speak to financiers on Wall Street the morning after Britain voted to leave the EU on June 23, David Cameron stepped down as Prime Minister. Despite initially indicating that he wished to remain a backbench MP for his constituency in Whitney, he left the Commons within just two months. Polo associates of the former PM said that while Mr Cameron had no intention of becoming irrelevant, he was determined not to do a Blair. And unlike Tony Blair, who had his own consultancy business, Mr Cameron was keen to earn money and maintain his lifestyle without offering political advice abroad, according to The Times. He has created his own private office in central London, which is run by Lawrence Mann, who was Mr Cameron's private secretary while leader of the opposition and prime minister. Currently, the 51-year-old's main source of income is by giving speeches around the world. In November last year the former prime minister was paid £120,000 around £2,000 a minute to speak to financiers on Wall Street, equivalent to 10 months' pay as prime minister, and in the following month he was reported to have been been paid a £200,000 fee for speaking at a conference in India. His wife, Samantha Cameron, has also launched her own fashion label Sefin. Earlier this year, David Cameron was ridiculed for forking out £25,000 on a shepherd's hut for his gardens. However, much of the former PM's time is said to be taken up by writing his memoirs, which are expected to be released next year and for which he is said to have been paid more than £1 million. Earlier this year, ridiculed for forking out £25,000 £5,000 on a shepherd's hut for his gardens. The former PM who is currently writing his memoirs has also taken on unpaid roles and was appointed chairman of the National Citizen Service and president of Alzheimer's Research UK. Speaking about his appointment as president of Alzheimer's Research UK in January this year, he said said tackling dementia was a major focus while I was prime minister, and although improvements in attention and research innovation have been rapid, it remains one of our greatest health challenges.